Hello and welcome to Danielle's Desk. Today we are going to be setting up my faith portfolio. I'm so excited. This was a part of my Happy Planner um, haul. I will link both of those videos below. Um, so what you're looking at right now is the current portfolio uh, that I purchased. I believe this came out in the winter release, I believe. And um, I found it at Joann's and I was like, oh my goodness, this is so nice. And I purchased it obviously with a coupon and I have been loving it. It has been so convenient to carry around around for Sunday school and Bible study and so um, when I saw um, the Mickey one um, I definitely wanted it um, because this will give me a nice change and will give me two portfolios that I can bounce between so the current one is in um, a grayish taupe color. I guess you could say that's what the color is and um, I currently keep my Bible in here. Um, I've also done a video um, kind of explaining this Bible. This is a fairly new Bible. I don't keep much in here because of um, my Bible being so thick and I can't, you know, like put a whole bunch of stuff on this side because then I will not be able to zip it. But the current setup includes some planner cards and these planner cards, excuse me, are from the Happy Planner. And so um, they're just really nice. They came um, in a companion pack or an accessory pack. I can't remember which one. I think it's an accessory pack um, for the last, um, I think it's the Walk by Faith line. I think this came out of. So this is just really cute. And so that's kind of all that I have been able to just you know, keep in here. So, um, so I have those planner cards. I'm just going to pull that We'll put that back in um there is a slot i don't keep anything in here and i keep a little to do or task list here and um, i've been loving these these are from office odds and ends she has them available in her shop but um i'll probably not carry this over into the next one so i'm just going to go ahead and take that one out and as far as the zipper part i have um just a highlighter and a tool pen that i have been using and so i'm going to take those out and then here on this side i just have some sticky notes and i won't be using these so i'll go ahead and take those out but i just kind of wanted to show you it is the exact same layout as the mickey is except this is like i said in a topish grayish color but i have not had an issue with them it has been good quality um they are rather expensive i paid 50 for mine and that's without any coupon and they will be available in the stores um so and i know that this one and i believe it's a black one they are available um in the stores right now i bought mine from joann's <clears throat> okay so we're gonna take that out the next thing that I have that I'm going to be switching out is going to be uh, this accordion file. Um, this was a gift, so I can't tell you where it's from, but uh, it has worked out so well with um, me sticking just various papers that I need. I'm a Sunday school teacher, so I'm always making copies or having my lesson or anything like that. And so I have been using these to store just various different things that um, that I've that I need. And so um, I've purchased another one kind of go with the whole aesthetic. And so this is another thing that I will be changing out and I believe that is all really that I am going to be doing today um, I'm gonna be adding bits and pieces here and there on things but for the most part um, that's what I'm going to be changing out on today all right so let's get started I think that we're going to start with the um, accordion file so this is the uh, new accordion file that I've purchased I got this off of Amazon at a very reasonable price um, it went with the whole uh, black and pink theme which you'll see in a moment um, and like I said it was very very reasonable there are tabs here I may end up using these tabs I just don't know what exactly I'm gonna label them so I'm probably gonna do that at another date um, so let's go ahead and open this one up 
so I can get started. Um, if you are a, I don't know, a Sunday school teacher, or maybe you're even a teacher, I've just found that these have worked out so good. So here it says, every day we face learning work and life with a smile. I didn't purchase it for the quotes or anything, but I'm just noticing if there's quotes. I quoted it for um, the color, basically. Um, and it just says, eight index simple document file. And then this is the name of the company here. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. I can get it open, there we go. I'm going to set that off to the side and I'm going to start pulling out some things out of here. And so the first thing that I'm pulling out is our actual Sunday school book. So this is the one that we are starting for this coming Sunday. And um, we change our books every quarter. Um, so this one is a different style of Bible study. It's called Bible Studies for Life. It's more of an application study versus the other one that we did was more of, you know, a verse by verse type thing. And so um, we are, uh, starting this one which I've, I've already started but I do want to put a paper clip in here <clears throat> just to kind of mark my pages and this is where we are now I do have I have several I have a lot of paper clips because you know obviously I have problems so I have this one but the only thing with this one it's more decorative and not functional so um this has a tendency of slipping out so I don't want to use that I do have some new ones that we just got that I just got in from James Agenda. They're in black. Um, I think that I may use this one. They're called Arrow. Um, actually, I'm gonna put it on this side. They're called Arrow Clips. And so um, these are really, really functional. Um, I'm trying to see if it's gonna slip out. I, don't, I, think, I think it'll be fine. <clears throat> I'm gonna put it on this side because obviously this is where the lesson starts and I don't wanna paper clip that side, so. This is the first thing that's going to go into uh, my accordion file, and I'm just gonna slip that right into there. And then um, I have this giant paper clip, as you can see. Um, I don't know if my kids got this for me several years ago or I did, but what I love about this is that if I want to, um, pin something like right there I can so um, yeah I think that I am going to carry this one over to here because it's really been a good functional type thing for me okay I'm not gonna take everything out but I think that I'm gonna take this out so um, not to explain every all my papers or anything but I may get questions but um, this is a part of the lesson that I did in Daniel. So um, I made a chronological list of things that will happen when the end time comes. And I divided it uh, up uh, based on events that happen is happening in heaven and then events that are happening on earth. And so I'm going to take that and slide that in there. And like I said, you know, maybe at a later time, I'll kind of organize it and put labels and all of that on there. But I'm just going to be, I'm going to pull out just some, just certain things. And so I'll have, because I'm not going to, I don't need everything that's in here. Um, a lot of this is lesson. And I think that I am going to, yeah, I think that's it, actually, to be honest with you. Everything else is old. <laughs> So I only had those two things, which is fine. So I'm gonna move this off to the side. But um, as you can see, everything fit very well in here with no issues. And like I said, I'll put like my lesson in here, um, you know, and as I need things, you know, maybe like a roster and things like that. I do wanna make a roster for the class and stuff like that. I will just keep adding it to the accordion file. Okay, so let's start with the um, actual portfolio. I've already taken it out of its packaging. Like I said, if you want to see that haul, I'll have that linked below. But this is what I picked up from the new release. It has Mickey heads all over it. It is so cute. Um, I didn't get it for the Mickey, but I got it for the color. 
Um, <clears throat> and so, because you, my bag is actually black and white polka dots. So, you know, I got it for that reason. So, um, I got some dashboards that I purchased um, from Hobby Lobby at their discounted, but they're discounting a bunch of stuff. But um, I got these dashboards and I got them purposefully, you know, because of this particular portfolio. And so I, you know, I mentioned that I'm not able to use a lot of stuff um, because my Bible being so thick. However, I did want to use you know, something. And so I'm going to try to piece this all together where, um, you know, you'll, it will be, you know, really nice to look at, if that makes sense. So this is a really tight fit and I'm trying to see if I should cut this tab. I'm gonna cut it a little bit because I'm not gonna be using it for its intended purposes, which is the dashboard or a bookmark or whatever you wanna call it. So there we go. So we have that in there. Um, this is so pretty. I wonder if I should like layer, let me take this out and have her like, like, you know, peeking through. So let's um, take this one off. We're gonna take that. It's gonna be like she's peeking through. And then we're gonna layer this right on top of there. And then I have this one, which I didn't plan on using, so, and it does have yellow, so I'm gonna omit this one and just have these two here. What I would like is to have like either some red or black um, planner cards and I really don't have any. I'm looking in my collection really quick um, because at one time I did have uh, some inspirational cards. So, let's see if I find them. Oh, I found them, great. So I had these inspirational cards that I've used, but just looking at them, I think that they might be too big. See, they're too big for the, oh no, they do fit. Oh goodness, yes. Okay, so I'm gonna pull them out. And so we can decide what we want on there. I'm pull them all out. I have a ton of them. I purchased them from, I think it's called, like, Something Grace. Something Grace. I can't remember. So, like, none of these actually go with the whole, like, aesthetic at all. But it is inspirational cards. And I'm currently like, you know, like not using it. I don't know if that makes sense. So I think that I definitely want this one here. Let's see if they all fit. Yeah, but they kind of overlap each other. So just looking at my collection and seeing, I also have this right here. Where I keep some um, some of my cards. Um, this one is really pretty, but again, this is I could go with these. So let's see. I believe these come from cloth and paper. Um, when I subscribe to them. Turn this around here. And so we have all of those. Yeah, I think they will work for now. Um, and I will be on the hunt trying to find more things. Um, but like I said, these are just too colorful and they're just not going to work. But that's fine for right now. 
So <clears throat> the only thing that I have left to do um, in this is to um, put some type of sticky notes because I do like to have some type of sticky notes. And I have these right here. They're from the Happy Planner. They're from the Be Happy box that we got. Goodness. I don't know. It was the one with the blush tones. It was the Grateful box or something of that sort. I'm horrible with names. But we, um, I purchased that one. Actually, I went in half with someone and I told her that I wanted the sticky notes. So I'm going to be including those in there. So we're going to place those here. And I'm not for right now going to be putting anything in the pockets because I have a separate um, pin pouch that I'm going to show you in a moment that will have um, everything in there. And so this is everything, I believe. I'm just kind of looking around just to make sure that I don't have anything else to place in there. And so we are going to zip her up so you can see how it is with a very large, well, actually extra large Bible. Um, and so it is a tight fit. It will stretch some um, because that's what the gray one did. But it is so, so cute. Um... I'm just playing around with something. I think that's kind of cute peeking out there like that. And it just says leave a trail of magic wherever you go. I think that's cute. I think we'll we'll keep that there. So we've done our accordion file. We've done our portfolio. And so I have one other thing that I want to fill up and it's going to be my pouch and so again I got this in the last release I'm not going to be wrapping it around my planner or anything however I do want to put all of my pens and highlighters and all of that in there and so um, I am just looking at my highlighter collection and yes I do have a highlighter collection um, this pen, like I said, I love tool pens, and so this is going to go in there. I have several highlighters that I want to put in there, and so um, I have all of these. They are from uh, Bic, and um, I want to have a lot of variety, so I am also going to be putting that in there as well. Um, I'm just looking. I don't think that I'm going to put any Tombos or anything in there. I want to put a purple. I want to try out this Uniball pen that I got from uh, in our last sub box from Jane's Agenda. Um, I want to try that one out. And uh, yeah, I always use like Bible study to try out different pens. They just, you know, seem to work out well. And that's where I do uh, most of my writing at. I do want to also include a stick pen because I use uh, stick pens in my Bible. So there's one that's already attached to my Bible, but in case, um, you know, it runs out or anything, I just want to have extras of that. And I believe that that is it. I'm looking at kind of like my notes and seeing like my little... This is my little stash of just different things. And I'm looking to see if I want to include any of that in here. So this is the one that I'm currently using. However, I may end up switching it up a bit. I just don't know which type of like, um, I don't know, large note system that I want to, like notepad that I want to use. I do have quite a bit in my collection, especially since um, I was a part of cloth and paper for so long. So I have these, and this one is pink. So I think that I may go with that one um, as like a little memo. So we'll take this out of the package. And we will use this one. So we will use that one and then I'm just going to tuck that into there as well. So we have all of my pouch um, already completed. We have my um, portfolio already done. 
we have my accordion file, like I said, and we have our my pen pouch. So now I'm gonna show you um, how I put everything together. Okay, so here we are. I had to move spaces uh, because I don't have a lot of room where my desk is and where I film. So um, I showed this in my last haul and so it is so pretty. Um, the camera is not doing it justice. It is this really pretty uh, pink color um, and it has polka dots um, in the inside. And so that is why I was saying that the Mickey head portfolio just worked out really well because it coordinated so good. Of course, I would have loved just a polka dot one, but it doesn't matter. And so if you can see, I decided not to do the compartments because I want everything to fit like you know, the way that I want and the compartments is meant for like your classics, your minis, sticker books, things like that. And I don't, you know, necessarily want that used in that way. So we are going to pop this one in here. And so this is going to be where my portfolio sits and we're going to <clears throat> push that all the way to the back. And so if it's just fine, and then here is my um, accordion file and then I have my pock, um, my pouch that will go in there as well and like I said it is a really good fit um, it's not super super heavy I mean but it's a better system than what I had before and so I still have a little more room just to if I wanted to if I had a book or something like that I wanted to carry with it um, but I am in love with it. Um, I am going to use it this week. Um, it just works out good because I have been struggling. I've mentioned before that it's almost like I'm a bag lady because I always have so many bags. I have so many bags going to work. I have so many bags going to church. And so this allows me to carry everything that I need in a stylish way because that's just how I like, you know, things. I love things to coordinate. I love things to look pretty. And so, yeah, I am super excited about it. So thank you so much for joining me here at Danielle's Desk. If you enjoyed setting up uh, my faith portfolio in bag, please give the video a thumbs up. If you would like to see more content from me, consider subscribing and I hope that you have a good day. Bye.